Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I have another tutorial for you today. This is a play along with me and see if I can make it video. Um, these are some envelopes that my hubby bought a bunch of, and they turned out to be not what we were needing. They're a little bit too thin, and they weren't the right size. That we needed them longer or taller instead of longer. So anyway, I've got one, and I'm going to see what I can do with it. I'm not sure that I'll be able to do anything with it, but we will see. Now, I've got some paper that's eight and a half by 11 that I'd like to use on here. So I may end up cutting this down a little bit to keep from having to piece my paper because it's, let's see how long it is. Right now it is 12 inches and so I need to cut about a half of an inch off of each side, I think. Let's see if we can do that. Hopefully we can. So I'm just going to mark it. And no, I, I probably won't do all of them this way that he got. But we do have quite a few and they're not exactly what we're looking for. So I told him I wanted to play around with one and he said go for it so we're gonna see what we can do I need to measure a little bit better I don't like this ruler for measuring let me grab my Tim Holtz it just doesn't measure like I want it to I'm used to reading this one I think so when you get used to reading one ruler it's hard to adjust to one that's a little bit to me that's a little bit off because it doesn't start right at the end so anyway enough about the ruler already um, and I'm probably just going to draw me a line down through there like I said who knows if this is gonna work we'll see if it works it's gonna be a great project <laughs> if it doesn't work Oh well, you may not see this video ever. Uh, let's see. That's pretty straight. So now, what am I going to do? I can use my knife, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if I can use my knife. I don't know if I can cut straight or not. So I'm just going to slice down through here and I'm going to go, I'm not going to press down hard, I'm just going to go slow and then I will do that again. I'm not pressing down real hard. And this is a glass mat and no it doesn't hurt the glass mat. I've cut on this many, many times and I haven't seen a mark on it yet. So I don't see a marker there at all. I'm sure if you just went down into it. You probably could, but, you know, that's, I just slice easy anyway. I don't like to press hard because when I do, I usually go crooked. There we go. So we got those off. Now it should be, if we cut it right, it should be, it's at 11 and a quarter. Okay, I still need it cut down a little bit, don't I? Yes, I do. Because this is not exactly 11. What is this? This is 10 and 5 eighths. Okay, let me think. I may not want to cut it down anymore. I may want to do something different with it. Just let me think. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, I do think I'm going to take a little bit off of this, and that's my fold right there. This is the fold, the factory fold. That's my fold when I was trying to think of something else to do. I do think I'm going to take a little bit off of this end. Okay, let me think. I'm thinking. 
So if I have it there. I really think. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I still have no idea if this is gonna work. <laughs> Wit said, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to bang that on there. Wit said, I cannot believe that you sit down at the computer or at the uh, video and you don't have a clue as to what you're gonna make. And I said, that's usually how I roll. So, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You know, there's a lot of projects that you guys don't see because they didn't work. <laughs> All right, I am, now that one, let's see. I put it in half an inch. And I'll kind of walk you through this when I get, when I get a little bit more comfortable with it might work. Okay. Right now, I'm still at the guessing game, so I'm not even sure what I'm doing. So I'll hold off on letting you know if it's gonna work or not. All right, now what I need is, first off, I need those little things folded back. I need to, what I'm doing is I'm coming in a half an inch and on this one I have to kind of look at it because I'm not sure should be right there at 11 okay I'm coming in a half an inch and I'm just making a score line and this score is pretty easy because it's not that th thick 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 I have problems talking some days this is one of those days all right oh that line did not go to meet the other line you're supposed to meet there you, well, that's close. You're supposed to meet. There we go. Close enough. Closeness only counts in horseshoes and Edith's projects. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna trim from this score line, the factory score line, up through here, and I'm gonna trim that little bit off. And I'm probably going to do it with my trimmer. I will probably go a lot straighter if I try that. Well, I don't know if I can do it with my trimmer or not. Let's see. If, no, I can't. I'll trim both of them off. Never mind. We're not doing it with the trimmer. We're doing with our scissors or with an X-Acto knife. Which one shall we do? Let's just do the knife. That'll work. Okay, let's do the knife. And I'm just gonna, even if I, my line is not straight, I'm just gonna kinda cut it as straight as I can. I stopped and hesitated because I thought I had done cut the wrong side, but I think this is the side I wanna cut. Okay, I have no idea what I ran into right there, but it didn't want to cut. Okay, then I'm just going to cut that off right there. There we go. We don't need that. Then I'm going to go over to this side, and I'm going to try my best to do the same thing. Let's see, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to lay it up that way. Hopefully you are seeing what I'm doing. Go. we don't need that one all right now if this worked correctly we should be able to fold this up and it go right at the back of this 
to create a smaller pocket. And you say, well, that was already glued together. Why did you take it apart, cut it down, and then you're gluing it back together? <laughs> because I wanted to make a smaller pocket out of it. I didn't want that exact size. Plus, I want to play around with it, you know? And I'm going to put these on the inside. Instead of folding them over the back, I'm going to put them on the inside so you can't see them. All right. So that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is run some glue. Wait. First, what I'm going to do is get these little scissors. And I'm going to cut just a little angle right there on that side and then one on that side one up here and over here and I'm just doing that so everything folds up a little bit better now we're going to first off I'm going to get my bone folder make sure I press that down really well then I'm going to put some glue right here And all right, now what I want to do is I don't want this. This is going to be our fold over, our lid, as you might call it. But I don't want it squared off like that. I want some kind of angle to it. And just looking around to see if I have anything that I want to make it out of, and I don't. And I don't want to fold it right at the uh, top of this. So first off, I'm going to measure and see if this is anywhere near the same. That's three and three quarter. Three and three quarter, exact. So I'm going to come out about a quarter of an inch from the edge of this, and I'm going to make another score line. And I'm just going to do this one with my ruler and my little tool here. You don't have to do it with your scoreboard. As long as you get just some kind of line that, where you can fold. That's all we need right there. So there we go. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to make this kind of angled, I think. So if I don't put a measurement up here, I will not be able to get both sides the same. So I think I'm going to come in, I tell you, let's start at one and a half first. We can always cut more, but we can't put it back. So we'll start at one and a half, draw our little line, and then we'll cut that off and see what that looks like. So let me go ahead and get my little knife here. Okay, now let's come in over here to one and a half, make a mark, and then let's draw a little line from that mark down to this corner. There we go. Now let's take our knife again, and I'm going to have to do it this way since I'm right handed. And go in there and just slice that off. Okay. Alright, so now we have something that looks like this. Okay, I do have a little bit of that brown showing there. I don't like that particularly. I may fold it down a little bit more. Let's try that and see if it's stop showing. Let's just go like an eighth of an inch up from that top here. And we can always put a piece of paper on the inside there. It's not the end of the world. It's just, that's just my OCD. Alright. Let me see if that makes any difference at all. If it doesn't, then we'll just go right back where we were. This is going to be covered with paper anyway, so not to worry. Well, it helps if my score line folds right. Eighth of an inch. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if that helps. Okay, it still shows a little bit on each corner, but I'm not going to worry about that. You see, it's just a little bit on each corner. I could continue to cut on that a little bit, and I could trim that off, but I'm not going to worry about it. I may even put a little piece of book page or something on the inside here. So that's not going to be something that I'm going to sit here and stress over. I will kind of round these corners a little bit and that will help some, but I'm not going to just keep cutting on it. You know, a lot of times when you keep cutting on things, you end up without something, <laughs> or when I do anyway. When I keep cutting, sometimes I cut way too much off, and then I have nothing left. All right, now I do want these kind of rounded here. so. Let's see what we can do with this. I had hubby to clean this out the other day. Nope, it's not going to go down in there. Okay. Well, that won't work. So, what we can do, this will work. We can lay a little bottle top there and draw a little line. and round it that way. There we go. See our little lines? That's what we'll do right there. So we'll just come down through there and trim that around. Okay. Do the same thing over here. And I'll tell you the, the start size of this was uh, 9 by 12, I do believe, was the beginning size of this. And this is just one of those mailers. So if you've got a mailer that's about that size, or if you get something in the mail that's that size, then you can make one of these. All right, that is our pouch. Look, that's gonna hold lots of goodies. Now what I wanna do is cover this with paper. Oh, look, yes, it's gonna work. But now, what color paper, or what paper should I cover it with? That's the question. Uh, I love all of them. You know me, I'm a paperaholic and I like every paper that I see just about. There's very few papers that I don't like. Okay. This is Wildflowers. I love that. That is gorgeous right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this off on, just on this side just a little bit. I just want a tiny, tiny bit of that folder showing. Just about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe. Not much at all. Alright, so let's trim that right there. And then we'll go up here and mark where we want to trim this. Okay, now let's see if we can trim that off to where we can have the right size to put on there, if I can. All right, that looks about straight right there, and I'm just kind of lining it up with my board here, my grids on my board. Oh, guess what I just did? I just cut that off where I marked it up there, didn't I? Or did I? 
No, I didn't. Right there it is. Okay. I thought I did real good. I just cut that off where I marked it on that side. I have done that before. I have. Okay. I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can. Then... That doesn't look straight to me. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. There we go. Maybe it was a little off. We shall see in just a second. Oh yeah, Edith, that's crooked. It's a dog's hind leg. Oh my goodness, what a mess. All right, we're gonna salvage it, I think, I hope. There we go, put that right there. I hope we're going to salvage it anyway. Let's try. You know what? It's so much easier for me to do that with the Tim Holtz ruler. I don't know why I even grabbed that other one. I do not know. We may have a little bit more of the white showing than I thought originally, but that's okay. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> I know you guys don't do this, do you? You do not do this. All right. Now I've got a little bit on this side that I need to trim. Just because I've got some of that white showing over here on this paper. And I've got a little bit too much paper for my project there. So, ooh. Come on now. Cooperate. Okay, let's try gluing that down right there before I mess up and mess up again and again. I left my glue open. That's not a good thing, is it? Now, I'm not going to glue all the way to the edges because I'm going to stitch around this. But if you're not going to stitch around it, then definitely go all the way to the edge. But I'm going to stitch on mine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Make sure I get this the right way up. And hopefully this will be a project that you would want to try out. Let me see if I can line this bottom up first. Okay. Maybe I got that straight. Let's see. Straight enough. Straight enough. I have a little bit of that showing on the edges, a little bit more over here than I do over here. Not to worry. I'm going to ink it anyway, and I'm going to stitch it, so not going to worry about it not being exactly perfect. Now, what I want to do is I want to cover this, cover this, and I want to cover the back. So we'll go ahead and cover the back first, and I think... I think I may just put this one on the back. Just like that. Trim it right there. And right there. So again, let's Oh, I keep knocking everything around. Sorry about that. I know I'm killing your ears. All right, let's try to trim that right there. It's kind of lined up there. And then, okay, let's cut that. And let's hope that this is 
the right size. And I think so. I think we did better on the back than I did on the front. Now on these little corners right here, I'm going to round those just a tiny bit just because we've got that little piece there or I may not even round it. I may just cut it at a little bit of an angle just like that. Just a tiny, tiny bit just so that it kind of matches our ends here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue stick on here. And I printed these on just regular copy paper, not the thick or anything like that, just regular because I knew I was going to be putting them on this. This is kind of a lightweight chipboard, so I didn't worry about them having to be real thick. Oh, did you guys notice I caught up on comments last night? I read every one, answered as many as I could. There was a few that, I, you know, they didn't really require an answer, but um, I answered as many as I could and talked to a few new people. Thank you guys, all you new people who have subscribed. Um, I know I had quite a few that said, this is the first time me watching you. You were suggested by YouTube. Thank the Lord. YouTube is finally suggesting my videos to people. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, let's cover this with something. And I don't know what. I don't want it to be too bright and bold because I'm afraid it'll kind of clash with this. So let's see what we've got that we might be able to use. Um, just about everything I've got is bright and bold. Well, we've got these. I can use these. Um, let's see. Yeah, I could probably use that. You know, there's things like this that I want to hoard, but then I get to thinking, you can print them again, Edith. You can print them again. All right, I'm going to take it down just a little bit past where I need it on the edge here. That way, I'll be able to put it, you know, fold it on down on the back just a little bit more so that, um, you know, I don't have that little empty space there where it folds up. I'll show you in a minute. I can't tell you and draw at the same time, so I'll just show you in a minute. Okay, there we go. And see, I want it to come down a little bit on this so that I can fold the paper and all instead of having a white edge right there, I think. That's the way we're going to lay it out and we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't look too good, then we can always trim it off. Like I said, you can trim off, but you can't add back, so... Oh, it would be so nice if I could tell where I drew. So if nothing else, if you're unsure about something, cut your pieces just a little bit big. And then you can always trim off if that doesn't satisfy you. But there's just no way you can go back in there and add that paper back to Well, you can. I have actually done that before. It doesn't look too good, but you can do it. Oh, and I had someone last night, I'll just talk to you while we're trimming. Someone had asked, could I show how to make that paper bag, little folio that I made, could I show how to make it using just cardstock? I will be happy to. I will be happy to. So I've got that on my list to show that. So that sh it'll probably be next week before I actually have the time to get it done, but we'll definitely do that. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about my flowers. I kind of like them up there. 
And see, if I fold this over, I'll have a little bit that comes around here and folds down. And I, that's okay with me. I'd rather have that than have this up here open. You see what I'm saying? I know I'm not explaining it well, but hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying. Because if you just brought it up to here, then you're going to have that white showing, which, you know, may not be a problem to you. I just didn't want it showing, so I'm going to bring mine all the way around. Now, before I glue this down, of course, I'm going to cut my other piece. But right now, I'm just seeing if I need to trim it a little bit more, or if this is going to be okay. And I think I'm going to trim it just a tiny bit, especially down the sides. Not much, just a little, a hair. Have you ever tried to trim a hair? Just a one little hair. I don't know why we say just a hair. I have no idea how to trim one little hair. I can't even see one usually, but uh, that's what we're trimming, just one little hair. Oh, now I'm going to have to go across here a little bit. Just a little. I also had someone ask me about my scissors. And were they helping any? Yes, I answered on the uh, question, but yes, my thumb has been so much better since I got those scissors. It is, it's a miracle. Okay, I'm going to put it together like this and just see if I need to trim any more off anywhere. I think it looks about right. Okay. But yes, those scissors are fantastic. If you have arthritis in your hands, or like me, you have a arthritis in your thumb really bad, then definitely get you a pair of these scissors. I usually have them linked below. They have this size, which is the 10 inch, I believe. And then they have, I think, the 8 inch, and then they have the smaller ones. But I love those because they cut a long section without you having to do anything to them move them too much. All right, that's that looks fine to me right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side before I uh, before I stop. I'm going to cut the inside before I put this one down because if I put that one down, then I'll have to measure again and do all of that cutting all over. So let's just go ahead while we're here and cut cut cut. All right, what are we going to cut 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 with? These are, I forgot to tell you where these were from. These are some digitals from My Porch Prints. I printed these off this morning. And uh, I think they're very pretty. I think it's called Wildflowers. But I just, I wanted a wildflower scene for this. And I didn't really have any just regular scrapbook paper that worked well so I went on and started searching whoops on Etsy to see what I could find Etsy a lot of people say you're saying that wrong it's not Etsy it's Etsy well that's just the country in me Etsy and I ran up on these so and I know she always does a really good job on her digitals so I went ahead and got these okay so now we've got that. I think that will work if I can see where to cut.
Okay. Let's see what we have. I think this is going to turn into a long video. Sorry, guys. Now I'm undecided as to whether I want that one on the front, which I'm leaning more toward now, and put this one on the inside. Because I like that darkness against that other. Let's see if this would work in here. Oh, yeah. And that would even go down in there a little bit. That would work fine. So let's do that. Let's put this one down right here on the outside and we'll put that other one on the inside okay we're gonna fold that over just like that oh isn't that pretty that's pretty and I'm gonna run some glue let's see if we need to trim it yeah I'm gonna trim just a tiny bit of that off make it a little bit straighter so it doesn't stick over the edge There we go. Got that on there. Oh, I like it. Okay. I don't like that, though. I've got a little bubble. We're going to pull this back up. Then I'm going to press that down. Where's my bone folder? Press that bubble out. There we go. And now let's see if we still fold well. Yep, we still fold well. Okay. So that's what we have there. And then we're going to put this one on the inside. And I'm looking to make sure that I'm still filming and that you can still hear me. It looks like I am. Okay. I think that'll work right there. So let's go ahead and pull these little pieces off of here, if we can. I don't know. I don't think that little piece comes off. I think if you pull that little piece off, it opens up the envelope, so we're not going to worry about that one. And then I'm going to put down more glue. Then I want to put down a little strip of glue right down through here. Okay, slide that down in there. Oh, I can't turn it loose. No, 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 no. Don't glue down yet. Don't glue down yet. Okay, so we're going to do you this way. Since you're going to be stubborn, we're going to put you down up here. Then we'll walk it down there. And then open this up and slide it down in there. There we go. Teach that thing to be stubborn, won't we? There we go. All that down. And now we're going to need to really enforce that right there so that we can fold that up without too many wrinkles. And of course, when we stitch this, that's going to help a lot with that, but I need to let it dry just a little bit. And you know I have no patience in letting it dry, so I'm just going to keep pressing it down with our bone folder until that glue grabs pretty well. Then we can fold it over. There we go. So if you get just a little bit of a wrinkle in there, just take your bone folder and press that down as you fold it up. And you should be fine. Okay, let's see if we're coming down straight or not. Okay, there we go. Does it look straight in the screen? You can't tell. 
I think it is. I think it's pretty straight. I'm not going to fool with it too much because I think that's going to work. I'm just putting, reinforcing that score line there. And I am going to have to measure. Okay, three and a half. Three and a half, so that's good. Now, I'm going to wait just a little bit for this to dry. And then I'm going to go around the edges with stitching. Um, not going to wait very long, but I want to stitch a little bit around the edges. And then I want to add some ink. Then we're ready to put embellishments in here. I'll probably put some type of little closure right here, probably buttons, put a couple of little buttons and some twine to tie that up. So I'll do that after I stitch. Okay, I have stitched around it and I used some brown thread because I thought the brown thread went much better with this than the white did. So we've just stitched all around that and then now we have, and I'll open it up. It's a little bit stiff right now because of my stitching. But now we have a nice pocket that we can put all of those embellishments in. All right, now, I want to put a couple of buttons or something right here. What should I put? Buttons or brads? Buttons or brads? I think buttons. I think buttons are going to look best. So let me go and find two buttons to put on here and some string. All right, I don't have two buttons that are the same. My daughter still has all of my buttons over at her house. So I think I'll just use these two. These are, are brown, so they'll work. They don't have to be exact. We'll sew those two on there. And then I'll go ahead and put my string on there. And I'm just going to use some of this really really thin hemp here and a needle if I can find one well I changed my mind on the hemp because the needle that I wanted to use it wouldn't go through the eye so we just changed our mind no problem I'm just going to use some brown thread and I'm just going to kind of mark the center here the best I can I think I'll put it put it about right there maybe. So let's just mark a little tiny mark right there. All of my big eye needles are blunt end and I needed one that would go through this paper and chipboard so well, I changed my mind okay so we're gonna put that right there and then hopefully yep it goes through well I've got just a long needle and it goes through that very well I'm just going to sew it on just like you would sew a button on your clothes. Okay, when we get enough stitches on there, all you're going to do now is just run your needle through there, th under your stitch on the back a few times, and then just loop it in here like that, and then just tighten it up. So that should keep our button on there. Now I've got a little bit of odd stitching right here where I tied my bow. <laughs> where I tied my knot so I'm just clipping that off and now we can just put a little piece of material or 
And now I can just put a little piece of this paper over that. And we have that situation solved. Like that. So let's just clip this. And we'll glue that down right on top of where I did that little knot. And then that will serve two purposes. It will hold our knot in place. And it will cover that up too. Okay. And I put lots and lots of glue on that just so that it will make sure that it holds really well. And you could try to match it up better than that if you wanted to, but I'm not worried about it. It's on the inside. Now, guess what? I dropped the other button, and I can't find it on my floor. So, I'm not sure where it went. So, I think we're going to have to try to solve it by putting another one of some kind on here. And I don't know what other kind we might want to put. I have this little jar. Melina, like I said, Melina has my large jar of buttons. See, I have a huge one, but that would not work. She um, got it and was using it for some face masks that she was doing some adjustments to, and she never did bring them back. So, let's see. We have a cream-colored one right here. That would work okay, wouldn't it? I don't think I have another color that would do any better. I have that green one, but it's not quite big enough. Let's see. Well, I have that little brown one. It's brown and cream. That would probably work. Let's just do that one. I'm not going to be too picky about it. It's just a button. Okay, we're just going to tie a knot in that, and then I'm just going to mark... I think I want it to be about right there. Right there. So I'm going to hold that with my needle. Stick my needle through there. I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little dollop of glue right under that to kind of hold my button in place. And then I'm going to see if I can sew it with this big thread. I mean this big long needle. I don't know if I'll be able to with this big long needle. But we're going to try it. If I can ever get one stitch through there, we should be good to go. I'm going to hold that just a second right there. Let it glue. Just a little bit. doesn't have to glue all the way. Just enough to kind of hold it in place while I'm doing my thing. And yeah, I'm having to turn it back and forth just so that I can keep hold of it. There we go. Okay. I think we're cooking with gas. Who's heard that expression? There we go. Let's see if we're right on the mark. I think we are. Now, I'm going to open this up as much as I can so I can get my hand down in there. Be very mindful of your fingers when you're doing this, on the inside especially. It's hard to see, so you don't want to accidentally stab yourself. So I'm just kind of turning my needle to the side and making sure my hand is on the other side. And I hope you can see. I was pulling it closer and closer to me and got it out of frame, didn't I? Okay, I think a couple more stitches and we'll be good. 
I need one right there. Come on, you can go. There we go. And one right across here. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to tie off. And the tying it off in here is going to be a little bit more difficult than it was on the lid, but we can do it. We can do it. And you can always leave your string longer in here and then just put something over it. And then just glue it down and put a piece of material, I mean, put a piece of paper over it. I keep calling it material. I don't know where I'm going here. There we go. And loop that through to tie it off. Okay. Now I'm going to leave my string kind of long. And then I'm just going to put a piece of this paper down in there and glue it down and my string is going to be nice and glued and nothing's going to catch on it. There we go. Put a little bit of glue in there on that string and then we're going to lay this paper right in there on top of it and press that down. Just make sure that you glue your paper down really well, top and bottom. That way nothing's going to catch on it that's sliding in and out of the envelope. Alright, I think we're good. We've got our little piece in there. Got our button on. Now let's just hope they are even. They look pretty good to me. And then what are we going to use? I think just a piece of this hemp to tie around that. Maybe. Let's see if that would work. Oh yes. That works. There's our string around that. Hopefully you can see that. I know that string doesn't show up that well, but I think it's cute. I may change the string out. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, I hope I put my needle down somewhere where I can remember where it is. All right, now I had just a little pocket thing that I was gonna put here on the front and then that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna embellish it a lot because I wanted to save everything for the inside. So I'm not gonna embellish a lot. I probably am gonna put that there. And then I cut a pocket out. What did I do with it? All right, I cut this out, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work because it may be too big once we get it made. We shall see. Now, if you're going to do, if you're going to use this paper, make sure that you print it on a nice, thick um, printer paper or something. Well, make sure you print it on something that's thicker than printer paper because this is just thin paper. Okay, there's the little pocket. It'll go really good right there. So let's put that little pocket down right there. I'm just going to put, now this is just printed on regular printer paper, so it's not going to hold a lot. It's just going to be mainly for decoration. If I was going to use it for, to put a lot of things in, I would definitely print it on something heavier. Now I am going to ink this up, just like I'm going to ink everything else. This is already a little bit inked, but when I trim it, I cut some of that ink part off. So we're going to ink it back up. I have no idea what my husband's doing out there. Mr. Whit is out playing around with the tractor. So who knows what he's up to. Yeah, 
And yeah, I'm inking the back and I don't really need to because I'm going to glue it down, but oh yeah, that's going to be cute, isn't it? And I don't think I'm going to stitch around this because it is just plain printer paper. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. But I am just going to glue right down through there and right across here. Just going to glue on the edges and put that down like that. I'm just trying to see if I got it anywhere near straight. Yeah, that works. Put that right there. Then we're going to ink this up. And I may back this on something just so that it'll have a little bit more dimension. I've got some scrap paper here. Let's see. I think we can back this on something and give it just a little bit of oomph. Yeah. Let's put it on here. Let's put this over here maybe. Since so we've got this over here on this side. And I think I'm just going to glue it straight down. we go. Alright, I think that is all I'm going to do to it other than put just a little piece of bling right here if I have somewhere near the right color. Let's just try this one and see what it looks like. Does that look too bold? No, nope, I think it looks pretty good. It kind of matches here. They're sticking to my fingers because I've got so much glue on them. Oh, don't run away. Come here. There we go. Two right there. Okay, so that is our little pocket. Well, little. This is our big pocket. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to go ahead and ink around all of this, but you don't have to watch me do that. You know how to ink if you want to. So that is it for our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.